Hello again, and as Lyle Lovett sells off into the autumn mist, I welcome you to another If I Had a Boat video cast. In the year that Team GB became the top sailing nation in the Olympics, we at Winsford Flash enjoyed another great season. And more about that at this year's AGM. But this video cast will explain the two proposals being put forward at the AGM. And at the end, I will tell you what you can do in preparation. All of our members should have seen notification of the AGM coming up in December. And within that agenda, we will talk about the status of our 2021 strategic actions that we communicated last year. At the end of that meeting, there are two proposals we'd like the club members to consider. First proposal is that the club members adopt the amendment to the rule book, which we'll go through. And the second is that the club members approve the course to steer framework. Now, just a reminder of how we got here. After last year's AGM, our members were asked to give us their ideas, potential for the future. And we had some excellent feedback from a large number of our of our active members. And in February, we formed a, a working group, which then put together a course to steer framework, which was communicated to all of our members that were attended the Easter forum on Zoom last March. Now, some of those some of those ideas di did ultimately mean that we needed to look at our rule book. So, on the rule book. There are two significant proposed changes. The first is that we change the objects of the club, which previously stated that we were a sailing and yacht racing club. Now, what we'd like to do is now change that to, to include sailing and dinghy racing at Winsford, uh, but also the promotion of other water sport activities and social activities. And we're also proposing to include the vision of the club that was stated on the course to steer framework into the rule book itself, which is an inclusive club that people love being part of, providing a safe and friendly environment for fun and enjoyment. The focal point for dinghy sailing, racing and other water sport activities for Winsford and the surrounding areas. And we're seen as sustaining our facilities and the use of the flash as valued assets for water-based recreations for the future. Now, with this change in our rules, there are some consequ consequential rule changes. So we'd like to change the membership categories and introduce a recreational membership, which replaces non-racing, a social membership that replaces non-sailing, and a temporary membership that replaces a monthly membership. But also, um, within the rule book, we've redefined the membership rights and privileges. And the second um, significant change is the club should use an online administration system to manage membership data, financial transactions, our calendar, our duty management, trophy management, club communications and website management. And the consequential rule change for that is that we now change the way we manage and hold membership personal data, how we hold our club documentation, how we manage our duty rosters and how we manage our financial transactions going forward. Other rule changes, we would like to incorporate the decisions made at the special general meeting in March 2020. So that's around the sailing instructions but also around the formation of a junior section. Given what's happened with the supernova fleet growing this year and, and some people um, resigning from their post as class captains, what we'd like to now do is to make class captains appointed at any time without general meeting approval but at the discretion of the sailing committee. Unlimited proxy votes and online voting at general meetings but still keeping uh, a quorum of 30 members is another change we'd like to bring in. 
that's increasing the proxy votes from a limit of five at the moment but also allowing us to do online voting to formalise a pro rata membership fee to allow members who join after June to benefit from a reduced membership fee for that one year only. We do have a large number of people that now want to recreational sale in the winter, so we would like to now bring in a winter berthing fee for the sole purpose of winter recreational water-based activities and not for just storing the boats down the club during the winter period. To offer people more flexibility, this came out of the, the, uh, the, the membership feedback, an opportunity for people who have difficulty attending planned working parties and to still avoid the levy by doing work outside of um, planned working party times. We've now formalised the wording around duties and the definition of duties and the expectations of our membership on doing duties at the club as we are a self-help help club. Uh, run by its members for its members and if we're going to change uh, things in the rule book we're just going to simplify the rule book to separate out the roles of the individual committee members and putting them into a separate operating manual so as we um, as we work on on different things and appoint different roles we don't have to keep going into the rule book and changing it So the second AGM proposal is about the course to steer framework. And to remind you of the framework, we do have a, a vision. And, and as I've just spoken about there, we'd like to now put the vision and embed that into our rule book. But also we'd like the overall objectives adopted by the club membership. And what that will allow us to do is to set ourselves some annual actions that are linked to those objectives that just moves the club forward. And as you've seen this year, we've got some uh, some good actions in 2021. And at the AGM, we'll brief you on how those actions have gone. But after the AGM, what we'd also like is our members to continue with that dialogue and, and email us with any more ideas for the forthcoming year on how they'd like to see some of those actions being, uh, being formulated for the next season. And then when the new committees meet for the first time in January... Um, they can then put together the new strategic actions for 2022. Uh, and this will then be communicated in a similar format as we did last year to the members before we start the, the new season. But within there, we do have some overall objectives. And I just want to quickly run through those. Um, one clearly is to grow participation in sailing in our local area. Another is to encourage social activities as and, and to give new mem new memories to our members because a lot of people talk about the a big part of the club in in its history is 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 the strength of its social activities to grow relationships with our groups but also to benefit from the expertise that we all have in our in our respective water sports build the group club through partnering with other water activity groups uh, where possible Continuously look at enhancing and improving our facilities as we progress towards some of the things that we want to achieve. And concentrate our efforts on development of sailing and dinghy racing. And if people want to do other water sports activities, benefit from the expertise of groups that we partner with to, uh, to, to learn how to do those, those sports. To look at opportunities of maximising the use of our premises during the week and, and look at partnering relationships with schools or outdoor education centres. And then always can look at how we continuously market the club and, and, and what we're trying to do, especially with a, with a really good online capability. And the final objective is to continue to look at adapting how we manage and govern our club as we go forward. Um, and one thing I'd like our membership to consider in the future, given what's happened recently in the news with the COP26, is to consider what thoughts we have around a potential 10th objective. Do we look at becoming, like a lot of clubs are now starting to look at, at becoming a zero carbon emission sailing club in the future? So next steps. So what I'd like to, 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 to do now is to send out the amended rule rulebook. Um, 
So I will, we will send out by email attached to the link to this video cast, the uh, the complete rule book where all the proposed changes are in red text, and in the first column, the rationale behind those changes uh, are explained in a little bit more detail, and you have the whole rule book in that in that uh, in that second column. And then what we'd like members to do is email any questions or comments they have to our club email address and all those emails by the 29th of November um, and the management committee are meeting on the next day. And the aim then is to put a consolidated answer sheet together to all of those questions and issue that back to the whole membership before the AGM. So I hope that you've found this uh, video cast um, informative and that uh, you act on the uh, uh, the information um, provided and let's hope that uh, when we get to the AGM on the 7th of December that uh, we end up with some uh, a positive way forward on these two proposals and also uh, you see the uh, what an excellent season um, Winsford Flash Sailing Club have had in 2021. So I look forward to seeing you on the Zoom meeting on Tuesday the 7th of December and I hand you over to Lyle Lovett still wishing that he had a boat Goodbye And if I had a boat I'd go out on the ocean And if I had a pony I'd ride him on my boat And we could all